suppose you have a lot of data of a students that contains their first name and last name and some serial numbers according to which they are inserted so how will you display all those records well there can be a lot of ways to display the records of a student but i think the most efficient one would be using tables but how do you create tables that looks better on all screens anywhere in this video we are going to solve this problem and you will learn how to design tables that look better and scale up depending upon the width of a screen in materialize css so this is code from previous video i am going to delete all of it and start implementing table from scratch and there we go all right so we have a fresh html file with all css included now let's start working with tables first of all let's create a table and see how it is looking in materialize css by default so let's create a table and let's create the head of the table and let's create a row inside it and the first column in the table will be serial number and, and second column would be the first name of the student and third column would be last name of the student okay so we have this table and let's start inserting some values inside it so we have to create the body of the table and inside it we can insert rows so let's create a row and then inside it we can add data to the columns this is serial number one and on uh, serial number one first name of a student would be suppose it is uh, Samir and last name of this student is Kausik and uh, similarly we can uh, insert another row and uh, this would be serial number 2 and uh, name of a student uh, suppose it is Avishek and last name is Agrawal let's try inserting one more row so that our table looks a little bit better and uh, this would be serial number 3 suppose name this time is I don't know Ranjit and uh, last name is Singh okay so we have our table and let us see how this table is looking in material CSS so I am running it using live server okay so this is how our table is looking you see this is the table and this is not a default table using you know plain html we have some styling in it and it is being given by materialize css to us now materialize css gives more utilities to style our table 
using their predefined classes and one of them is a stripped tables so in a strip table one will have some background and next will not have any background and again upcoming a row will have some background in it let us see how we can implement that okay we don't have to do anything we can i am just copying this code so that you can see everything in front of yourself i think it is taking the whole width of the screen and that is not looking that good so i will add a container so that it will look good in the middle of the screen okay so we have our container let's copy this table and to create any strip table you just have to add a class called stripped into your table element and how do you do that well you can do simply by class is equal to a stripped and this table will be a stripped and let us see how that is looking okay i think i have made some mistake here okay here it is in a stripped uh, there should not be double p it should be only one p let us save it and see how it is looking so you see there is a little bit of background in you know alternate rows of the table that is getting a stripped so we can in this way we can design a strip tables in which one of the rows of the tables will have some background in it and the next one will be empty and then again next one will have some some background with it similarly we have a different class for designing our table and we can also do that This class is called highlighted. So when you are you hover your mouse onto any row of the table, it will automatically highlight that row. So we can again just copy this table and then change the class. Here I am changing the class of the table to highlighted. And let us see how it is looking okay so here is a table and okay I think I made again again some mistake let us check that into our code okay 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 it should not be highlighted it should be highlight only okay now it should work see you see whenever i am you know hovering mouse over any row it is automatically getting a background that is it is being highlighted that on which row i am so in this way you can create a table which uh, you know solves some better user experience for users we also have a table uh, with uh, ability to center all of its element in the center of the column and we can create that as well by simply adding a class called centered and let's implement that as well so And this would create a table with 
all element all its elements centered in the column so you you can see the difference this is the normal table and this is a table with all of its element getting centered in the column just like center tables we have responsive tables tables which can you know get horizontal scroll bar depending upon the width of the screen if uh, so if uh, the content in the table is not fitting in the screen it will automatically start giving a horizontal scroll so we can create that table also simply by adding a class called a responsive table to our table element i am just copying this uh, table code and then adding it and i will change the class to responsive table and uh, i think only this much data will not be enough to you know not fit in the screen so we, we will increase the data to see that in action and uh, let us see it using live server so to see that we will have to decrease the width of the screen and on decreasing of width of the screen okay this is not properly visible i will add some extra new lines in the end of the page so that it will come above this area and you will see it properly let's add some extra new lines here and let's come back to our page and I think it should be properly visible. So you see, it is having a horizontal scroll bar as well. So that is a special style you can get from Materialize CSS, and uh, there are a lot of uh, features you can implement using Materialize CSS. So that was table in Materialize CSS for you.